I'm Carrie Watson, and this is Our Mother's House by Julian Globe, written in 1963. Uh, it is what you might call a domestic thriller about six children living in a house in London, England. And um, the story starts off uh, immediately with the death of their mother, their only caregiver. She has refused treatment for her cancer for religious reasons. And the children are suddenly on their own and they're terrified of being split up and sent to an orphanage. The oldest is 12 and the youngest is four. Now, what follows on the cover, it says Lord of the Flies, which is an overstatement and also says like Rosemary's baby. No, not at all. But anyway, uh, the children are thrown uh, onto their own devices and have to survive. They manage to uh, fake, since their mother wasn't leaving the house because of her illness, uh, the local bank is used to them picking up her monthly uh, uh, income, uh, some kind of disability income. And so uh, they uh, continue to do that and they learn to fake her signature on checks. Um, so at first, it's a story of how the children cope with uh, adult responsibilities. And it's fascinating and it's uh, believable. Uh, problems arise when one of the children becomes seriously ill. Um, and what the split that develops amongst them is between those who continue to, as it were, follow mother's religious beliefs uh, about... Uh, summoning doctors and so on, and those who feel that something should be done. I won't reveal any more than that. Um, and a further complication arises when the children's father, uh, or is he, turns up. Uh, and he's a, uh, he's a happy-go-lucky fellow who hasn't been anywhere near the family in many years, uh, has been in the army. Uh, seems to make his living by finding things that fall off the back of lorries, as they say in England, and betting on the horses. Um, but he's a breath of fresh air, and they all, all but uh, a couple of the kids take to him immediately uh, because he uh, provides them with so much fun. But then things become dark, and the Children uh, have to deal with uh, their, their father, uh, supposed father, uh, starting to go off the rails and not be so much fun anymore. And it's tense throughout because you never, you, you certainly appreciate that the children don't want to uh, go to an orphanage, which would undoubtedly happen. Uh, and yet at the same time, you're torn by the idea that, yes, they really should be taken into care in some way because this situation cannot go on any longer. Uh, very well written. Um, the only thing that might date it a bit is a bit of class prejudice. Um, but other than that, uh, hard to get hold of. Uh, I found this, in a, I had to order this from Thrift Books. Uh, but why I did is because it was filmed uh, pretty shortly after it was published with Dirk Bogard in the lead role of the father. And it's an interesting example of a film which is perhaps slightly better than the novel because of a couple of alterations have been made. And so, uh, and the movie, by the way, is uh, neglected and it's excellent and possibly one of Dirk Bogard's best performances. So uh, it's available on Apple. You can rent it from them. Uh, so definitely check out the film. And uh, if you, if you uh, really want to read it, you'll have to uh, go to Thrift Books or A Libris or one of those folks. Anyway, recommendation from me. And also I recommend my own book, The Skeleton Palms. I do this every video. And uh, what is it? It's a noir thriller in, set in California and Nevada. Very violent, very dark, so you're warned. And see you next time. Thanks. Bye.